Here, in one of the city's oldest churches, lay a mystery waiting to be solved. It sat hidden in plain sight for decades. The church rector says it all started when a staff member asked about a lamp in his office. And she said, oh, you got to get rid of this lamp. And, and then lifting it up, I thought it was the base of the lamp. And then it wasn't the base. And she said, what's this? And uh, I immediately recognized what it was. Walker knew it was an altar stone from a Catholic church, upon which the sacraments of communion are prepared. Writing on the back, Les Nouveaux Glaise Belgium 1915, with the initials FGS, provided a big clue. Just southwest of Ypres in 1915, and uh, La Nouvelle Glaise was shelled, and it was a medieval church that was bombed out, and the Canadian troops uh, were there. The church was destroyed as battles raged during the First World War, in Flanders, where about 60,000 Canadians fell. Walker thinks a Canadian Army chaplain, Frederick George Scott from Montreal, must have gone into the ruins of the church to retrieve the holy relic. But a piece of the puzzle remains. How did this altar stone brought from Belgium to Canada by a Quebec priest end up here in this Toronto church? Canon Walker has his theories. That it came here with one of Scott's sons who retired to Toronto and was a volunteer at the church put it in the rector's office here and it, someone put a lamp on it uh, 60 years ago and there, there it's been ever since. Grace Church on the Hill is adorned with stained glass tributes to the soldiers from the parish who died in Flanders fields. But Walker says the stone didn't belong here. Maybe we should give it back to the people to whom it belongs. In November, as part of ceremonies marking the 100th anniversary of the end of the First World War, the altar stone was repatriated to Les Nouveaux Glaise, while school children sang, O oh Canada. It now occupies a place of honour in the rebuilt church. It's not hidden under a lamp. Philip Shannock, CBC News, Toronto.